Bro, look at what I just seen at the store. Been all over the mall looking for this boy. A picture paints a thousand words. My little bro spent a night at my house. Look at how this guy sleeps. I found my son's book of bad superheroes. Man man, the strength of two men. Mum uses cardboard cutout of herself to stop kid crying when she leaves room. My son thought the crowd gathered at the park was for him. You don't know pain until a little kid draws stick figures of the whole family. And you are the only one round. I brought my nephew a cake to class for his birthday. Before I took the picture, he said, why? I don't even like these kids. My little cousin got mad because I said he looks like a Victoria secret bag. If you could revive someone who was dead, who would it be? My dad. He died of cancer. Haha, <laughs> that's lame. I would choose Tupac. Could hear a faint scream. I started to panic, ran to the noise, turned a corner and found this. Congrats, kid. Never actually seen anyone do this in real life. Take back to the time when my fish that lived for three years died and I did not have a picture with it, so I made my mom take one. My kid randomly told me, I'm going to do namaste in the backyard. Be back soon. This is apparently namaste. Father's Day message. Kids, please don't rush things. We all love you. So always remember that, even when you're dead. Some baby on this plane is singing the ABCs all out of order. And a guy shouted, yes girl, a remix. This is my little baby cousin and he is dressed as a smoke detector for Halloween. None of us know why, but he is really obsessed with smoke detectors. That is all he's asked for in the way of presents these past two years. One of y'all's sons has a crush on my daughter and gave her his glasses today. His prescription glasses that he cannot see without. Just like a boy doing anything to impress a girl. Giving up the gift of sight is crazy. I've been telling my daughter to take this mask off for over three hours. She's not listening. I walk out of a target to the scene of a child laying motionless on the ground. I ask what was wrong and the dad said, he's upset his gloves match his jacket. I interrupted my Twitter break to tell you that Abigail started crying because her gift got wet. The gift. I hate playing make-believe with little kids. You shoot them with a laser and they're like, actually, I went back in time, so it doesn't count. The hell are you talking about? You just casually ripped open a hole in the space-time continuum. That is irresponsible as hell, pal. My seven-year-old just got mad at his brother and called him ugly, and his brother got really upset about it and started crying. They are identical twins. Identical twins. My son named a piece of birthday cake, Cakey, then got too attached to it to eat it. We saved it for him the next day, and he decided to eat it the next day because he did not want it to get old. He cried the whole time, saying, I'm sorry, Keiki, between bites. Today, my three-year-old niece cried because she remembered she hit her leg somewhere three days ago. She said she forgot to cry about her leg that day. Children are so strange. I just had seven young boys on my front porch demanding to see my cat. They had a leader. I opened the door and before I could greet them, he said, where's your cat? I know he's in there. We see him in the window and he's real fat. I don't know what to do here. My mother sneezed into her elbow while muted during Zoom school and her students thought she was dabbing and cheered. My brother is crying because we're burning some wood in the fireplace. Me. It's time to get dressed for school. Three year old. Okay, I just have to do something first. The something. My toddler got mad that her poop came out in two pieces instead of one. She accused my husband of cutting it while she wasn't looking. Don't laugh, but when I was little and it was pouring outside, I thought that God and Satan were fighting. So I used to get my belt and hit the ground so I could help the Lord out. My seven year old was tapping away on my Mac tonight and told me he was writing a book, The Killer Forest. One day, there were seven pairs of underpants. They were not ordinary. They were evil. As a mother, this is hands down the most beautiful Valentine's Day card I could ever get. I don't care. Bedtime was half an hour ago. My six-year-old just walked out, blurry-eyed, and asked his father if a duck is a predator. Some things are too important to go to bed without knowing. I set out a suitcase to pack for my flight later today and spotted my three-year-old crawling inside of it to hide. I casually zipped it up and yelled, I'm off to the airport everybody and carried it to the car. I've circled the block twice and my luggage hasn't stopped laughing. My eight-year-old asked me where Mississippi was. I told him to Google it. This was his search. The internet is really ruining kids. Write the definition of cab. Lying. The kids blamed the footprints on the dog. Fun fact. My parents got married on April Fool's Day. So when I was seven, I tried to be funny and I made them an anniversary card that said, your marriage is a joke and my mom cried. Apparently, my kid got in trouble today for packing our toaster in his backpack and pulling it out at lunch to make pop tarts for his class. I can't stop laughing. Once, when I was nine, my teacher told me to write the most beautiful love story I could imagine. And I wrote a story about a shark and a horse who fell in love and the horse jumped into the sea to be with the shark, but it drowned and died and the shark was also so sad that it died. The teacher called my parents. My son was asked to combine two animals for his biology class. He refused to let me help him order his food because he's a big boy. Now his 
Cass is sitting in the back, mad as hell, with his egg on the hot dog bun, with jalapenos and black olives for breakfast. You gonna learn today. The teacher told kids to draw their mum's hobbies. My mum likes drinking. Kids working together to create eternal recess, the uprising we deserve. My son keeps grabbing fists of air and screaming, mine. My daughter is crying, saying TJ is stealing my air. They are in my bedroom on a Saturday morning. Almost two year old for sale. Has been crying for 10 minutes because he can't get in the oven with the cornbread. Entertaining all offers. My little brother is 13 today. I miss those days I used to say. I bet you can't get me water from the kitchen in 5 seconds. And he would pace it. Lol. Dumb guy. I told my students to write, excuse me. Not to brag, but what a time to be childless. You are not wrong. While I was rocking my 7 month old to sleep. For her nap, my 3 year old took a loaf of bread into his wardrobe. And took a bite out of every single slice. 6 year old. Do dragons fart? Me. I don't know. I thought you went to college. My daughter just ruined Toy Story forever. She said if one of the toys died, Andy would not know, and he would carry on playing with its corpse. I tried to be nice and gave this little kid $20 for orange juice and his orange juice stand, and he called me stupid because it was only $1. I have a friend that insisted on dressing up like a clown for his family picture back when he was like 8, and it's my favorite picture ever. Why is he sitting like a 14th century monarch? He is one. I remember when I was like 6, I thought that if you liked drinking alcohol, you were an alcoholic, and I didn't realize being an alcoholic was a bad thing. So when my aunt asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up, I said, I want to be an alcoholic just like my dad. When I was little, I learned what schizophrenia was from television, and for a while, I was really afraid because I thought I had it since I always heard my own voice in my head. So finally, I told a doctor, and he informed me that what I was experiencing was called thinking. When I was a kid, I had this game called Worm Church, where I'd bring worms to my room and read them the Bible. I went through my son's iPad this morning, how to fight my dad. I bought ourselves some peace and quiet for three dollars. The last one standing with a dollar still on the wall wins the money. When you didn't get to press the elevator button. Kid at the park just told me it's her birthday today. I asked her how old she is and she said five and a half. Story absolutely crumbling. I wished her a happy birthday, but I crossed my fingers while I did it. If a kid shoots you with a nerf gun, you are supposed to die a dramatic death and explain. Uh, you shot me bleh. Abducted child set free after annoying his kidnapper by singing gospel songs. Did your parents ever tell you the joke where they would say if you were kidnapped, you'd annoy the kidnapper so much they would give you back? In first grade, I wanted to be a bird and one day I remember my neck and my arms being covered in little red bumps and I thought the transformation was beginning and I ran to my teacher crying, saying I was not ready to become a bird yet and it just turned out I was allergic to yogurt and I wasn't turning into a bird at all. My niece said I was going bald, so unprompted, she cut off a lock of her hair for me. I hope the tape holds. My four year old is losing his shit because I won't put a band-aid on his eyeball. I messed up. Don't mess up. I'm 11 by the way. I love watching kids meet dogs. They are always like, my grandma has one just like this. Except she's red and small and doesn't bark and has three legs and is a lizard. And, and, and she's dead now. Kids are the best man. They get all shocked when you figure out they did something wrong. Like, mom, how did you know I colored on the table? Um, because you wrote your fucking name on it. Bro, grade seven me was wild. After school detention. Reason. Pretending to do it with the table. Repeatedly asked to stop, but carried on. I wouldn't let him touch a washed up jellyfish. When I was a kid, I liked strawberries so much that I would eat them until I got sick. Here is one of those times. A child. What's that? Me, holding an Oreo milkshake. It's spicy. You won't like it. One time, when I was 11, my dad took me to an Italian restaurant, and the waiter asked what my name was, and I said, Sam, but you can call me Captain Ravioli. And my dad just looked at me and said, What the fuck was that? Don't do that. And I've been chasing that high ever since. My son bet me that he could make a piece of paper fly farther than I could, so he spent 10 minutes making the fanciest paper aeroplane I have ever seen. The look on his face when I crumpled mine into a ball and launched it across the house was priceless. Sucks to be a loser. I just remembered that when I got my first dog, I was seven, and he was one. Seven in dog years, and I cried when he turned two because I did not think a 14 year old dog would want to hang out with me. Walk around your vehicle before you leave. Take note. I think that this one should be shed as much as possible. I'm sure if you want kids or not. My son told me he throws the grapes that look funny behind the couch and I just found his secret pile of rotting fruit. Caught my son chugging parmesan cheese. Not kidding, your daughter just poured a glass of water on her head while sitting on the couch and I said, oh why would you pour that on yourself? And she goes, cause I can and it feels nice. My son's school was having issues with messy bathrooms so every month they reward the boys or the girls with ice cream depending on whose bathrooms are cleaner. And according to my son it's become a prank war where they just fuck
fuck up each other's bathrooms. Digging through my old boxes, my wife found her wedding purse. She let the kids play with it, since they like pretending they're princesses and such, and they've been carrying it around excitedly, like it's a great treasure. It turns out, they've been using it to store pepperoni. The six-year-old flatly refused to believe that we used to navigate using maps made out of paper. You mean, like pirates. The teacher asked my kindergartner what his favorite season was, and he said, garlic salt. My son is terrified of the Loch Ness Monster right now. Absolutely terrified. He keeps asking me questions about it. Can it get out of the lock? Is the lock far away? I have no idea where he heard about it. I told him it can drive and could be in our town in 20 minutes. My son kept telling me his best friend was called Joe Fish. I asked other people did they know this child. No one did. Turns out he was called Joseph. When I was nine, I watched Frozen and I thought I had the same powers as Elsa because I had dandruff, so I told my class I had snow powers and started scratching my scalp. Me, eat your vegetables. Baby, no. Eat an aeroplane. Delicious. My sister takes her kid's Nintendo Switch away at night, so the kids made a fake Switch and tried to swap the real one and put the fake one in its place. Today, a kid asked to play tic-tac-toe with me, and I was like, yeah sure, and he proceeded to draw this. My 11 year old just screamed across the skate park, mom, did you ever get our health insurance reinstated? I want to do a trick. There was a spring in second grade, where every single recess, I would walk out to the most remote part of the playground, die dramatically and lie motionless for the entire 20 minutes. I was trying to trick a turkey vulture into coming down to eat me so I could grab it as a pet. My three-year-old niece ordering a jacket potato, then crying when it arrived because she thought it was a potato wearing a jacket. One of my clearest memories of my grandfather is when he beat me in chess and I cried because I was a sore loser and he said, okay, I will play you left-handed and then I won and it took me until like last week to realize he was a clown bastard. What is a childhood anecdote that says a lot of about you. Mine is that when I was eight, my friends and I went door to door selling homemade keychains so we could buy Bibles for our bullies. When I was six, I pretended to be a tiger for a solid month and my parents wouldn't take me out to eat for like a year because I asked a waitress for a small cup of blood. My four year old has been carrying a small notebook around all day. She opens it, writes small scribbles and quickly closes it back up. She's calling it her secret diarrhea and maybe someday I'll correct her but definitely not today. I feel bad for teaching because I distinctly remember my mom bursting into tears once when she was grading papers and she was just mumbling they're so goddamn stupid over and over. Every time I read this I laugh a little harder. My four-year-old cousin is freaking out because we went to a restaurant and the forks had three prongs instead of four. Every time someone said the word fork she said no it's a three. I can't wait for this kid to be old enough to use Tumblr. My children are currently trying to murder each other because my eight-year-old son won't stop telling my five-year-old daughter that her real birth name is Big Jim. He could not open this bag of cereal with a fork. My eight year old has started talking back and then saying out loud, hashtag roasted and dabbing. Not one of the parenting books prepared me for this. There was a massive unflushed jobby in the toilet. I asked my boys who did it and my 10 year old son said it was him. My five year old son is crying because he says it was him and his big brother is taking the credit. Have a great week everyone. To the student who keeps taping hot Cheetos to things in my classroom. Why? The distance between the sun and the earth 149 million kilometers. Yet, this kid decided to put a ladder to watch the solar eclipse. I work at a big chain bookstore. Someone at another store found this while tidying up the children's department. If you laugh at a kid's joke, that kid will tell the exact same joke at a slightly louder volumes, 8,000 times in a row. Good evening, who needs a free happy meal? We have 18 available. My five-year-old knows how to use Grubhub. My friend's four-year-old son would not go back to sleep because he wanted to keep looking at the stars and she tried to bribe him with a piece of chocolate and he just said, would you rather get a reward or be happy? And turned back to the window. Oh my god. Y'all, I am sick with the virus and look what my son made for me and left on the table right outside of my bedroom door. Simple facts, I'm terrified of my toddler discovering. Public parks don't randomly close. Televisions don't run out of batteries. There is no actual world record for fastest at putting away toys. Chicken the animal and chicken the food are one and the same. Got any to add? Dad, isn't it weird that the word chicken can mean an animal or a type of food. My kid, on the verge of making a horrific realization, my friend Luke did not realize until he was an adult that lukewarm was a real temperature. He thought it was just a term his mum used to describe his bath water. My toddler just spent five minutes explaining that he cannot use his imagination because he traded it to a kid at daycare for some fruit snacks. Okay bro. My daughter said, Dad, I like
like your car because it's made of human skin. Because we have tan fake leather seats. My kid crying, just losing her mind as I explain why she cannot sleep with a water balloon. Six year old son, who would win in a fight between a hippo and a lion? Me. I don't know. Maybe the hippo because he's big and can stomp. Wrong. The lion has a knife. The lady across the street must think I'm the worst mother. Has she ever seen me playing nicely with my kids? No. Has she seen me chasing my naked five year old around the yard trying to get my keys from him because he locked his brother in the car? Yes. All three times. Mom, I don't want dinner. Me. I'm not making you dinner. I'm making you a big snack. Yay. Snacks. Phone rings in the middle of the night. Me. Answers phone. Hey, this is Josh with toxicology. Doc. Hey Josh, we have a kid here with a... with cyanosis. Blue tongue. Blue lips. Uh, hold on a second. Whispering in background. Never mind. They had a blue jolly rancher. Bye. When I was eight, a man came to the front door and talked to me for a bit. He then went around the back and went into the house. I told my mom that some guy just showed up and went into the back door. My mom ran to the back to investigate. Turns out, it was my dad who had just shaved his mustache. Kids say the darndest things. Kid came up to me and asked for a free cookie and I said I can't do that. So he asked how he could get a free cookie and I said if you come back later and we have a broken one, we will give it to you. He goes, can I pay you two dollars to break one on purpose? The cookies are 150. Jumping off a tree for 620 subscribers. When I was around five, I went to a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese and the music video had a giant Mr. Munch above. My dumb self thought it was real and that at school, Mr. Munch would be on top of the building. I remember I used to think adults never slept. Now, hear me out. You know how people say he's been in his room all night or I'm going to spend the night studying. Well, my seven-year-old self thought they were actually spending all night doing whatever, but I remember thinking I cannot wait until I can stay up all night. My little cousin, Arjun, got caught using ChatGPT on his seventh grade English homework. My seven-year-old son made me a cup of coffee that somehow tasted like beef stew. Mom, I put a sprinkle of that brown stuff in it you like. The brown stuff I use is cinnamon. The brown stuff he used was dry rub seasoning. In the best yet things my nephews have done, the seven-year-old ordered a burger today and was asked if he wanted it medium. Could you please make it very large? He asked, told that the choice was between medium and well done. I took a picture of my kid's chest x-ray to show the family. He had pneumonia. I showed the kid and he gasped. Then in an awestruck voice, he said, I have a skeleton. I was in Walmart in the soap aisle where a toddler said hi to me and then proceeded to start poking my butt and was going, Heine, Heine. And when her father came over, she went, Dad, Heine. And he mortifyingly went, Stop touching that woman's Heine and apologized. In primary school, we had a creative writing assignment where we had to write about a character in a new strange situation. And I wrote about a squid that was somehow teleported from the ocean to the forest floor and slowly choked to death for two pages. And I will never quite forget my teacher's face because it turns out she wanted, this school is scary, I hope to make friends and not a graphic description of a squid dying. A seven year old girl asked me to interview her about the craft of story selling. And after each of my answers, she said, correct and pensively wrote two letters on a note card. One time she drew a frog instead. I just witnessed a child have a meltdown in the pumpkin patch because he wanted to go to the pumpkin patch that he was already standing in. Yell parent every day. Oh my god. Once when I was a little kid, my family was out at a fancy restaurant and I ran over to the table next to us and asked the woman sitting there, excuse me ma'am, are you fat? I am never allowed to forget this. Was she fat? I have no memory of the actual event, but according to my parents, yes, she was massive. My brother used to think that a man sat under the escalators and operated them. He also thought that man's name was James and that was his real dad, not our dad. So every time we passed the escalator at the mall, my brother would scream at our dad. You're not my real dad. James is my real dad. What the fuck? Said she hates me and I'm not her real dad and she wants a DNA test. I'm like, you're adopted. She's like, I know, I still want the test. I don't think she understands about DNA. County child orders $1,000 worth of grub hub when playing on his dad's phone. Saw a few kids playing cricket in the park. Maybe didn't have a coin. So, for the toss, they launched one of themselves in the air. If he lands butt first, heads. If belly first, tails. He landed sideways, got up, and shared the idea of launching the cricket bat. Blue team won. Parents want me to be healthy as a kid, so they have gummy vitamins and lots of supplements. I asked my mom one a day if I can have one of her women's multivitamins. These are for girls. You can't take them or else you will grow bobs or something. I wake up in the middle of the night and eat all of the remaining gummies. Instead of becoming a girl, I end up in the hospital and almost fucking die. Parenting is okay, except for every once in a while when my three-year-old requests ham hands for lunch, which is when she takes two handfuls of ham and eats them in the living room while she watches television. My daughter woke up at five because of crows outside. She stuck her head
head outside the window and said, Mum, the bird witches are calling me, and to sum up, I have my next book, and also, I need to call a priest. Major casual interference issues in our house at the moment. My two-year-old thinks coats makes the air colder, so keeps putting hers on when she's too hot. When my daughter was three, I told her to stop trying to draw on the dog with crayons. She threw the crayon on the floor, looked at me dead in the eye, and yelled, Dad, you're ruining my life. Does anyone know where I can buy a lump of coal? My kid is not naughty. He wrote to Santa he wants a lump of coal for Christmas. I tricked a four-year-old into not wanting my Nutella by calling it hazelnut butter. Evil. I accidentally flushed the toilet instead of letting my kid do it, which in the toddler community is a crime punishable by death. So this is why my kids have to hurry up and go back to school. I just brought these chocolate chip cookies and my son ate all of them and had the audacity to place some cookie crisp cereal inside after he ate them. When I was 12, I read that if you folded a thousand origami cranes, you would be granted one wish. I proceeded to fold 114 because I wanted to wish for a Lego set. I'm in the living room and my kid yells at me from the kitchen. Mom, don't look at me. Me, why not? Because I don't want you to see me. Hello, your child says his weekly crossword gets eaten by his dog every week. Is there any way to secure the crossword from the dog's reach? Thank you. 28 girls hospitalized with anxiety after playing with a Ouija board. When I was a kid, like six, I thought that the reason actors got paid so much was because every time you wanted to watch a movie, they would have to act it out and stream it to you. A kid in my son's class explained to me that she was sure she has two mums because he has the pretty mum and the other mum. He described each to me in some detail. Rita, both of me. My kid, looking over my shoulder as I sign an email. You are not a doctor. Me. Yes, I am. What do you think I was studying for all the time when you were little? Oh, I thought he just liked reading books and crying. A fly landed next to him. There's a kid on my nephew's soccer team that thinks he's a dinosaur, so he's just out there screeching and biting other kids on the field. I love my nephew, but I'm only here to watch Velocir Ryan. Mum, what if they aren't stars? Me. Uh, what if their holes poked in the top so we can breathe? Fuck. My Bible teacher asked the class, what biblical character had a conversation with a donkey and my little sister answered Shrek. My kid was upset about being in timeout so she did the only logical thing her four-year-old brain could think of which was to act like a Pikachu using a thunder attack on me. Then we stared at each other in silence until she whispered nothing is working. She's too powerful. My son didn't want to be a tiger or a superhero. He wanted to be a traffic light. Today my son drew in red marker all over his face then got scared we would be mad so he tried to hide it by wrapping toilet paper around his head like a mummy. Then he promptedly ran into a wall and nearly knocked himself out unconscious. A comedy of errors every day with this kid. Do you know what's wild? Remembering that children hear things for the first time without context and are literally like, what? I just said, see you later alligator to a four year old. And I think it was the first time they have ever heard that. They froze in their tracks, looked at me completely bewildered, then replied, see you later chicken, then kept walking. Yesterday in the park, I saw a toddler screaming bad dog at a goose and I can't stop thinking about it. Toddler accidentally orders $1,800 worth of Walmart furniture. The dumbest rumor you've heard about yourself. When I was in middle school, people were saying I was homeschooled, even though I went to the school. I was playing volleyball in the gym with the kids, and this little boy got hit in the head, and I was like, oh geez, you okay dude? And he just said, yeah, I'm real strong, watch this, and punched himself in the face. I told him to be gentle with his brain, and he told me, no, really, it's okay. And I had to physically block him from slamming his forehead into the brick wall. Superman's preschool teachers all deserve a raise. Yesterday morning, after his scooter game, my six-year-old asked me, how come the other team gets to change the color of their jersey every week, while we always have to wear purple? When I explained that, in fact, we were playing against different teams each week, his mind was blown. Apparently, my nine-year-old nephew wanted permission to make a Facebook account, and my sister was like, no, you're nine. Then he figured out how to make one behind her back, and got caught immediately when he sent her a friend request. What is the cutest mistake you've seen someone ever make. My 12 year old son called me at work early one evening. He was trying to up with making dinner for his siblings and for me and his mum before we got home. I could hear the frustration in his voice. He was trying to mash the potatoes. Holy cow dad, I've never realized how strong mum was. I can't do it. It took me a minute to think and then said, um, son, did you cook them all the way? He replied, cook them. When I was maybe six or seven, a television channel held a huge competition that led entrants to win a huge bundle of Disney prizes.
noises. If they phoned in and did their best Tarzan yell, I begged and begged to be allowed to call in, and not only did my mother let me, I actually got through. Problem was, I did not really like Tarzan all that much, and thought that a Lion King roar would be much cooler. A while after arguing, the person answering the phone, I think they gave up on trying to get me to follow the rules, let me do a shitty roar at them, and hung up. I did not win any prizes. I will never forget the time my brother missed the bus and wrote my mum this note. I'm not reading all of this. 